Hey guys, guess Wait. what? Guess what? You're blocked. Alright. We're starting the podcast. Oh, we're not. We're not. Okay. And thanks for watching, guys. For See you watching. next time. So, Connor. Nope. I have a question for you. What all do I need to get, get from my computer to be able to play Call of Duty World War Two? Everything. What is that? Okay. So that Four more gigabytes of RAM, new motherboard, a new processor, a new video card. Sounds cheap. Probably another power supply. A new monitor so you can get them high res. <laughs> So your shopping cart should look like a brand new computer. Nice, nice. Your computer should look like a shopping cart. <laughs> have you guys? Hey, seen... I can give you my. So I can what... give you my grandma's uh, computer. It doesn't even have a gigabyte of RAM. <laughs> I could sell you my grandma's computer. So guess what? Me and Ryan figured out today. Uh, my grandma's computer? computer is better than yours. Besides that, guess what they're coming out for a sequel for? Kingsman. King's Knights? Kingsman. What the fuck is Kingsman? The movie Kingsman? They're like people that protect the king. No! I've never uh, seen it. You've never seen Kingsman? No, I have not. It's like Same. one of their best movies ever. Is it no, it's not. I mean, is it better decent. than Hot Fuzz? No, God, no. Alright, then I'm not watching it. Why? Because it's not better than Hot Fuzz. No movie's better than Hot Fuzz. Alright, well then I'm done watching movies. Star Trek 7000. Star Trek sucks. Exactly. Star Trek Star Wars is a no-watch. Not even the newer Star oh, Wars? Wars? Star Wars is pretty good. Okay, it's a, went, it's a no watch. What's what's the what, first one that came out? Like the first newer one that came out, The Force Awakens. Or is yes. Is it, that's the one like me and Dalton like went to the movie theater, stood in line, and waited for. And then got told that you couldn't watch it because you're not old enough, and then no, left. And then I realized the day after, not even the day after, like as soon as we left, I realized, wow, I just stood in line to watch Star Wars. Uh, there's no going back from that. Oh no, I haven't seen any of them ever since then. I just, I was just kind of like disappointed, honestly, in myself. Yeah, have you watched the original six? No, I haven't seen all six. Sorry. The six cents. The six cents. There's eight of them now. <laughs> eight cents. What's the six cents about? I've heard of it. You have six senses. Is that okay? Six of the cents of them. What's, what's the extra cents? Yeah, like a little bit more, and you could buy a part of a gumball. <laughs> twenty-five <That's> cents. <laughs> you think I have twenty-five cents just laying around? Yes, I. How many you... cents do you got? I only have six. like. <laughs> um. I got my nose, my mouth, and my ears. You don't have any taste or smell? <laughs> what does it smell to taste? <laughs> I only have my mandibles. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I, was, I was kinda having a slight seizure. <laughs> And I said no. No. Charlie Mandibles. <laughs> so Connor, when are we gonna go spelunking again? Uh, well, I don't want to get yelled nine one one at. Oh my God, Chris, you heard that story, right? Yes, you called me. Dude, I. Can't... And then we oh, ran yeah. right right into the arms of a professional opera singer. Oh my god, dude, he has the <laughs> voice of an angel. <laughs> the, the, you know how long you've been telling me this story? Just, 
Well, it's just a story that you can't hear. Now. It's the story of a lifetime. Yeah, the day itself. Dude, I would get arrested for listening to him sing. Oh yeah, if I had to go, it would. I would want him to sing like. Just like him in the background filming his music. I would want him to narrate it. <laughs> in opera. Like it sounded like it was a speaker, but it wasn't. I know he was just that loud. I mean, it's not every day that you walk into a quarry, a hiking quarry, to go caving, and you see a guy singing opera on a cliff. That's pretty much what happened to us. Well, we were on a cliff. He was on well, a lower yeah, cliff. That's the thing. We were on top of the cliff, and he was on top of another cliff. Below that cliff. There's a cliff below the cliff with an opera singer on it. And his name was Cliff. And then above our cliff was an <laughs> old woman yelling 911 at us. From a cliff! <laughs> there was a lot of cliffs. Everything there happens on a cliff. It, it pretty much does. Well, I'm sold. Let's go. I wish. We never went into the big... We need to, like, bring something to do. Like, we need to, like, go into the cave and do something. What? We need to go into that cave and do something. Which one? The one that we were getting yelled 911 at. First of all, we didn't even... That wasn't a cave. That was just, like... It was still fun. It was... It had a view. It did. We need to bring the boats. We need to go down there and bring the boats. And dock, like, right it? there. We need a camouflage show from the angry 911 lady. <laughs> we'll bring up a mirror. Ryan comes back, even he knows the story. What we're Let's talking. bring a huge magnifying glass and then, like, aim it at her. <laughs> what would the magnifying glass do? Cooker. Okay. Like <laughs> Cooker. That's how he eats. <laughs> Literally burn a out A laser of <laughs> No one can come. We'll live there. Mold. Let's be real, like, the top response times would probably have to be a sheriff, and it would be, like, two hours. They wouldn't even care. They wouldn't take it seriously. Like, oh, we'll be right over there. <laughs> Don't wait oh, for us. They, it wouldn't mm -hmm. even be that. Wouldn't it be, like, a parks department worker, since that's a... <laughs> <laughs> like, someone pulls up and they're, what, his bicycle? A man named Bob, and he gets <laughs> paid, like, a minimum wage. <laughs> I really don't care. I don't get paid more well, than no, I just do whatever guys. the hell you want. He's one of those guys that takes his job really seriously. Like, he'll step off of his bike and, like, pull his pants up to his nipples and, like, walk over. <laughs> he'll have, like, one of the bikes with, like, a siren on <laughs> You know, or, like, like a cycle or something. He'll put playing cards in his spokes so it sounds like a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> An all-terrain Segway, a four-wheel drive cars. <laughs> He'll threaten a bear. Like in the last episode of the Trailer Park Boys, like one of those vehicles. Yes! <laughs> he comes to try to like, come to us by water. <laughs> it takes like an hour. Can you send me a video of that? I want to see that. Send a video of that in the chat. I gotta see Look that. Look at it, I don't know. Find it. He threatens to like zip tie us. <laughs> you know, he's not allowed to to have the back it. of the bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, to take us in, we have to walk next to the bike while holding his hands. So we can... Honestly, legally, like, he probably doesn't have like the power to detain us. We could probably just like walk away. <laughs> he wouldn't do anything about it. <laughs> the water like, oh my gosh, Chase was like, I can't. It's all you, lady. And his bike <laughs> has a. Uh, his bike has some uh, license plates. It's how I get to work. An electric bicycle. <laughs> oh my god. What if it's like some thing. like? What if he's like a professional like BMXer? <laughs> he's like comes in there like spinning a rock, jumps off like the cliff, lands on those front. We're trying to get away, and like, tackles us with this bicycle. This is... Trespassing! You can't be trespassing here! He, like, jumps up and, like, slaps us over the head with his front wheel. <laughs> I feel like he would be, All like, right, total, dude. like... What's, like, the stereotypical 90s, like... 
I don't know, like... A Suzuki Samurai. Are you black? <laughs> no. Okay, you're allowed to stay. <laughs> That's how the 90s were. Nah. I think that was like the like 60s. The stereotypical, <laughs> the stereotypical 90s inspirational speaker, like, he'll hit us with the tires, he'll be like, smoking's not cool, man, and you gotta, he'll, he'll throw us out. Was there what vaping in the 90s? Was there vaping? No. Is vaping allowed? It was from Probably the not. Dude, I'm pretty... Vaping has become illegal now because... You vape on a plane. No. <laughs> Look at all these... Why? It's just water, dude. Plane. Dude, it's just water. I don't Get even have all these vapes one, off my motherfucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We got... Alexi Note 7 bomb. How <laughs> do you motherfucking vape on my motherfucking vape train? The freight train, vape train. Freight train. The vape train. Vape train, rape train. On a freight train. On another train. On a semi truck. In a suitcase, in a plane, on a car. In a vape. In a motorcycle. Being vaped in out. In a vape liquid. One of those fucking things you put in, you know? Like... Being vaped. I've had it with these motherfucking vapes on this mother- <laughs> What? <laughs> Is that from a movie? <laughs> yeah, Snakes on a Plane! <laughs> You've never seen Snakes on a Plane? The most epic no. movie ever. You don't even- Takes 12 seconds to pack all these fucking snakes onto the train. There just happened to be. I mean- S Snakes on a Plane. I was gonna say, what's the story behind that? Like, <laughs> I've never- Hey, oh, yeah. can I bring these snakes? It's when it ISIS can't afford any bombs. It was pre-9-11. It was pre-9-11. You got a 5 out of 10. It was before you can make a bomb out of your laptop. Samuel Jackson. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. I'm tired of these motherfucking snapes on my motherfucking... I don't think at one point he. I don't think he ever called it his plane. I think he said this motherfucking plane. Yeah, Let's see, yeah. motherfucker. I'm tired of this motherfucking plane on my motherfucking train. <laughs> tired of these motherfucking planes on my motherfucking <laughs> train. <laughs> I'm tired of my car on my motorcycle. So did Wait, did you that, make uh... that? No, I found it. Do y'all see oh. uh, Bill Nye got a new show on did Netflix? Did I what? Bill Nye got a new show on Netflix. He the actually did it. It's shite. Yes. Yes, it's I'm pretty terrible. sure this is like the promotional poster right here, if you look. He's not a science guy. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's endorsed by Hillary Clinton and the <laughs> Hillary Clinton Foundation of Research. He literally told he his family Hillary. to go vote for Hillary because because Trump doesn't believe in global warming. Who endorses Bill? Why doesn't Bill just be the president? I was gonna say, yeah, can he? I'm born in America. Because <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's actually. Does it... He's not, he's not qualified America. for anything. I know. I'm looking him up. I just. He's what literally just a spokesperson. He he. All right, hold on. It ain't no science, man. Early career. No one in science is literally gonna make a fun show if they have a degree in science. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Nile was born on November twenty seventh. Because I understand. Nile. All right. Just starting a little his early mother, with the story, buddy. I think his mother was a code breaker during World War Two. Code reader. Code breaker. What? <laughs> code breaker. What the? According to Wikipedia. Okay. Oh, I'm this. changing it. Get off Wikipedia. That is a terrible website to a World War II and Edwin Darby, his father, also a World War II veteran, whose experience with out electricity in a Japanese prisoner of war camp led him to become a sundial enthusiast. That's <laughs> 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 all That is completely all right, all right. <laughs> Wait, read that again. Okay, I'm just gonna... Sundial enthusiast. Listen, listen, this, this whole thing is funny. This whole thing is funny. I'm gonna read the whole early life thing. 
Nye was born on, the t- on November 27, 1995 in Washington, D.C. to Jacqueline, a co 1935 or 25? 55. Oh. To Jack, oh. a code breaker during World War II, and Edwin Darby Ned Nye, also a World War II veteran whose Ned. experience without electricity in the classified. prisoner of war camp led him to become a sundial enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen to this. Ned the classified? So, school for the Bible God. <laughs> Jenkins and I was among a small elite group of young women known as Groucher Girls. <laughs> he had enlisted to help crack the codes that were used by the Japanese Jewish military. She wasn't Rosie the Riveter. She was Rosie the top secret code breaker, Nye recalls. People would ask her what she did during World War II, and she'd say, I can't t- talk about it. Ha, ha, ha. That's exactly what she <laughs> said. It has nothing to do with Bill Nye. <laughs> That's the thing. This is his Wikipedia page. <laughs> okay. After telling Lafayette, Bill Nye 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 <laughs> he studied mechanical engineering at Cornell University. <laughs> <laughs> what is Chris going? Are you okay? That went from. Being 16 years old to a fucking cancer <laughs> smoker at 70. Early, I was thinking of the Whopper commercial. Would you like to know about his scientific That's a real work? Whopper. Uh, <laughs> Whopper see. made with cyanide? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yes. <laughs> oh, hold on, get this. In the early 2000s, Nye assisted in the development of a small sundial that was included in the Mars Exploration <laughs> Rover missions, known as Mars Dial. <laughs> That's all fake. <laughs> get, this man in a wa- get this man a spinner. <laughs> this is why Wikipedia needs money to save their fucking info. <laughs> Mars Dial. God damn. <laughs> Oh Wikipedia god. needs to go. <laughs> this is all crap. Oh my god. I don't need a Wikipedia when all their stuff is fake. Oh, it's get like this. The onion. Get this. Nye gave a solar noon clock atop Rhodes Hall in, to Cornell on August 27, 2012. He gave them a sundial, guys. Give them a <laughs> sundial. Wait. Was what? Nye in the fucking... Wait, what? Can't do? Oh my god! Nye holds several United States patents, including ones for ballet shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that again? Nye holds several United States patents, including one for ballet point shoes, and another for an educational magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> he helped invent... Ballet shoes. <laughs> Didn't you know? Guess not. It's in all of his books. He brags about it all the time. Oh darn! Oh my god! You know you can stop a speeding car with my new ballet shoes. What the dip? He's been abo- he's been aboard Air Force One with President Obama. Obama. I bet so. He's not President Obama, it's just Obama. I bet he He's even made is. Oh, that's right. The first plane. He did. He, he made a ballet shoe-shaped plane. <laughs> or a shoe-shaped ballet plane. Oh my god. A or... plane-shaped ballet shoe. Field, mechanical engineering, institutions. A ballet. shoe-shaped ballet. A ballet. A ballet. A ballet player. Work for Boeing. Where he He's a shoe ballet player. Resi- oh, hold on. It's Bill Nye an alcoholic. Oh, you know it. You know it's, it's true. Bill it Nye the crack. Science. Bill Nye the science crack man. <laughs> I look at Bill Nye the Cosby guy. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. Yep, I, uh, 
Found a nice self fortune. Now he's inspired to become the next Mr. Wizard. Wizard. Yeah, I read that too. <laughs> Didn't wow. you guys know? He was on Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> <laughs> what? Eyes Dancing of Nine. with the Bill Nye. Dancing with the Eyes of Nye. Some people say if you look into his eyes, you can see Nile. The Nile River. Ryan. Ryan left. He left a call, or he just left? He left. He muted. Bill him. Nye Ken Ham debate. Can I have ham? Wow. What did you see? Can ham? References. All these references. Jimmy Barfield. There's so many Bill Nye memes that are so prime. Nye is an avid swing dance. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, 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 mom. <laughs> Finds the music. Come on, is there such... Hold what on. is the swing dancer? It's we like... dance to the swing. Yeah. Swing style of jazz, 1920s, 1940s. Wait, Bill oh. Nye fashion show. What? High charts. He walked. He was a male model. He walked on the. Yeah. Okay. No one can do science like this guy. <laughs> the science. Some of the science he does though, like in his Bill Nye shows, like it, it's nothing to do with his field of science. <laughs> Do you, did you know the, uh, or, the Origin Access Pass has Bill Nye on the trailer? What? You know EA? Yeah. Their Origin Access Pass, so you can get a lot of fucking Battlefield games for free and half off. He is in the fucking trailer for it. Who's Carl Sagan? Bill and I, he took a class with Carl Sagan, who's apparently, like, really famous. Reagan? With Reagan? I think so. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fact number five, he applied repeatedly to be an astronaut. Nye applied four times for NASA's astronaut training program, but he was re always rejected. Because he's, like, 70. Which he blamed for his lack of a Ph.D., PhD. PhD flopper. Here you go. I'll send you the video. That's the video? proof that he is a real science guy. Oh, sweet. Ryan. Ryan. All right, let's watch. Origins Access featuring Bill Nye, Multiverse Theory. Oh my god. That's a lot of Bill Nye's. Hello, I'm Bill Nye. You may know me from such things Bill as Multi science. Nye. I'm here to introduce Origin Access. Endless play of great PC games. What if there were a way to take full advantage of Bill this phenomenon? The Enter yeah. the Multiverse Theory. Imagine, Imagine an endless, endless number of universes, universes and an endless, endless number, number of us. us. Universes where we can be playing Battlefield, The Sims, Dragon Age, and FIFA endlessly. Nice. Play EA's newest games first and your favorite PC games whenever you want in the vault. <laughs> nice. Good job. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. Julian, go pick up Battlefield 4. <laughs> Yeah. Pick it up off the ground. Okay. <sighs> so.
Why did it just get quiet all of a sudden, guys? See ya. Bye. Alright. So, uh... That's the end of that, I guess. Bye, bye guys.